When I was 11 years old, I'll never forget, my father had a ruptured ulcer. I felt so frustrated that I couldn't help my father. And that moment I said, I'm gonna be a doctor. I'm a physician, part of the endovascular team at Mount Sinai. We work on the blood vessels of the brain. In 1974, here at Mount Sinai Hospital, uh, we probably did the first what's called embolization. A patient that was bleeding to death from a ruptured artery of the stomach. I had a catheter there and I went to my attending and said, this guy's gonna die. Um, I think that we can help him. And we were able to save his life. Using the catheter at that time was only diagnostic. Nobody wanted to work with us, it was too risky. So we had to learn how to make catheters by hand. We now have the busiest center for cerebrovascular diseases, definitely in uh, the New York area, in a pediatric section. And uh, to my knowledge, there is really maybe two or three centers in the world uh, where they actually have a dedicated pediatric section. We get patients with diseases that others cannot cure. It's probably the world center where children with a rare condition called vein of gallon malformation exist. It's very severe in children. Vein of gallon malformation is the most severe expression of blood vessels that are abnormal in the brain. Children are unique. Uh, the environment is unique. You're treating a family. It's very important to have a good rapport with the parents. I think that makes 30% or 40% of the doctors work. If the patient trusts you, child or adult, if the family trusts you, uh, they're gonna listen more to what you do. I've been very fortunate to be exposed to so many things that every day I learn something to better myself or to better the care we do for our patients.